don't usually do this in court, but I think it's appropriate if you would like that we can end this hearing with a little bit of clapping over us. <laughs> So Melinda um, came to us at the age of 17 when she was in foster care and her caseworker basically said that we couldn't adopt her because of how old she was and it was complicated and yeah. So we never thought that this day was possible and then a few months ago we found out because in the state of Arizona you can't adopt past the age of 21. So we kind of just like you're adopted on our hearts like it's just a piece of paper to us. But we found out a couple months ago that that wasn't the case. And if you had a kid formally placed with you as a foster child, you can't adopt them at any age. So, Melinda. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, one's twisted. Okay. <laughs> Can we adopt you forever? <laughs> You can't hug her. Yes, I can. No, you can. <laughs> She's mine forever. <laughs> I'm trying not to cry. I don't know why I'm already so emotional today. So, I'm just super excited about today and I'm super excited that this is even possible and for you to be official. Not that it wasn't always official in my mind, but I don't know, it's just something about like you having the last name Pettit and just, I don't know, the whole thing. Um, <laughs> the whole thing. That's gonna take some getting used to. You're la you have a last name. I love sure. that. So we have to drive four hours um, to go to the adoption. Saint we John, started the Saint paperwork John's. before we moved, so that court has to take place where we started the paperwork. So yes. Yeah. So we have everyone here. We're gonna be staying at the Crazy Middles house in St. John's um, because it's sitting empty right now. So we will be staying the night there and then driving back tomorrow. But the adoption is today at four o'clock. So yeah, I'm just so excited. Love we love you. Ah! Okay, let's do this. Let's not cry all day. I should have put waterproof mascara on. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, so, I'm ready. <laughs> but we're gonna go get everyone in the car. And yeah. get on the road. Quick. You didn't pack yet? I'm working oh, on it. My it's gosh. a process. It's okay, because then I'm like uploading my video. Oh yeah, <laughs> she's uploading her video. Her channel's Crazy Treasures. Go check it out. We're gonna have all perspectives of the adoption today on all of our channels. So I love that. Yeah. So, like I totally made a joke because I was like, I'm the oldest out of all of them. I was like the first one in their home. And I'm like the last one to get adopted. The last one to be adopted. <laughs> Officially on paper. Yeah. <laughs> first one to come, last one to get. It's like at the beginning and the end, you know? Like it's perfect. <laughs> I love it. I'm eating cake. my Crocs. <laughs> the Croc dance. Those are actually a lunchbox. It has a lunchbox here. 
Wanna see? Why do you have a lunchbox? Haha! Oh, it's not closed. It's my makeup, if anyone was wondering. I know. Pretty swag. Where am I going to sleep in? It's your special day. I can't, let me do it. <laughs> Everyone make sure you're buckled. Okay. So James did ride back to St. John's with us. He's gonna spend some time with his dad for Father's Day and then he'll be back in a few days after us, so. We're finally here, so we are going to go inside and start getting ready for this adoption. Are you guys ready? Yeah! yeah. Is it today? Yeah. It's literally at four o'clock. I thought it was tomorrow. No. What? We gotta go get ready. Woo! How does it feel to be home? It feels weird, and it's really hot here. I thought it was gonna be cool. It's, it's not as bad as the valley. It's not as bad, that's right. And I like the And it's weird to be here, because like this is where we're staying for the night, but I love it. late trying to make shirts. I only got two done. I only got two done because Walmart was all out of the white that I wanted to do. And so I messed up too many times. But it's okay because two of us will have the writing on it and then eventually I'll add them to all the shirts. But we will all match, so. Who's like gonna be here? the lucky winner? You are one of them. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I think dad is the other size that I did. Me and dad. You and dad. <laughs> Poor me. Look how cute though! Oh, those are cute! Those are so cute! You like our shirts? Whoa, that's cool! Crazy is I came into your home 612, 620, 12. 12. and then 6:15. So what? How many years later? Nine. Nine. Nine, I think. Twelve. What's 21 minus 12? I can't think right now. Wait, no, I lied. It's, 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 it's seven. It's nine. It's nine. It's seven. Nine. Seven, seven, twelve. Seven, twenty, twelve. Oh yeah, because it was July. It was July. It was July. <laughs> so nine years it took to adopt her. Nine years for this moment. You are ball. But Aaron, I don't know if I have a thicker shirt than that. I have to wear a muscle shirt. Yeah, they're all tight. <laughs> I'll be wearing a shirt like this. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> I mean, not me, of course, but then we're gonna get this adoption started. Her food is coming. My food's coming. Woo! My favorite thing about Melinda is she's nice, kind, and just like amazing in general. I can't wait for her to be my forever sister. My favorite thing about Melinda is 
favorite thing about Melinda is everything. My favorite thing about Melinda is definitely her smile and her laugh. Like it just lights up a room. <laughs> My lashes. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't come off. I'm just kidding. Um, I love you too. You'll always be my little sister. You were adopted last, so technically you're the little sister. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> That's good, eh? I am short now, aren't I, eh? <laughs> you're 4'11", right? Yeah. <laughs> you haven't even reached five foot? That means you must always protect me. I got you. What, huh? Look at my sister. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> One thing I love about Melinda is that she's always there for me, like anytime I'm having a hard time or I need to talk to someone, she's the one person I can count on to go to and she'll just listen and she'll give me really good advice and that's one thing I love about Melinda. My favorite thing about Melinda is her personality and her sisterhood. My favorite thing about Melinda is her smile and her ability to make good things out of bad situations. My favorite thing about Melinda is probably everything because she's perfect in every way. But mainly like having talks with her. What I love about Melinda is just her smile and her happiness. It's always constant and it puts everyone in a good mood. So I'm really excited for her to be our forever sister. I love Ma. Um guys, well I don't know if red's my color, so it's gonna be a surprise for everyone, including myself, because I don't wear red. Like I don't I don't even know the last time I wore red. Some things I love about Melinda are first that you can go to her like whenever and like just talk to her about like anything and she's really like open minded and like actually gives good advice and also she's just so kind to everyone. Another thing that I really love about Melinda is how great of a mother she is and the beautiful child that she pushed out of her. Melinda, she is just always nice and kind to everybody, and she's just so nice and always happy. Putting the glob in the hand. Mm -hmm. My favorite thing about Melinda is that she's kind, loyal, and brave. We are finally all ready, so we are going to head to the adoption right now in just, what, 15 minutes? You're gonna be officially adopted! And from the first day we met her, we knew that she was meant to be our daughter. 
And ever since then, we've always played the parent role with her, and she's always been our daughter, um, but we're looking forward to making it official and making her our forever daughter. Um, and, and just providing that permanency for the rest of our lives. I've always wanted to adopt more of that since she came into our home. Um, I think it's important to have some permanency uh, and that's part of what we did about her. And could you describe your relationship with the court, to the court, what your relationship is with Crystal and Eric? Parents. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think of them as mom and dad? Absolutely. <clears throat> and uh, why do you feel it's in your best interest for this adoption to occur? I have the same reason that I would be able to have a permanent thing on the paper. Um, have you, you know, do you present yourself out in public as this, this is mom and dad? Yeah. It's further ordered that petitioners shall and do bear towards each other the legal relationship of parents and child. Further word that the Arizona Office of Vital Records is ordered to amend the birth record to reflect the adoption and the new name as ordered above. It is further ordered that this order does not release the adoptee from any legal obligations incurred or harm any rights of property actually in any original name of the adoptee and further order that petitioners may receive a certified copy of the final order of adoption upon payment of statutory fees. And that can be accomplished through the clerk of the court's office here at the Apache County Courthouse. That will be dated today's date, the 15th of June, 2021. And I am signing the order there there are multiple copies. I'll just go ahead and just sign all of them. Thank you. And we don't usually do this in court, but I think it's appropriate, if you would like, that we can end this hearing with a little bit of clapping or whatever else you want. <laughs>
Say one good goodbye. Say bye, home. Oh, she loves our house. It's so sad. Aurora is your sister. <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird to see! Right? <laughs> Sister slash aunt. Aww. I miss that house. You miss that house too, <laughs> so does Aurora. I think we all do. Tell them the fun fact of what's in the parking lot. So funny, right? I was like, look, mom, my first car. And it was a Jetta. Was so, like a Jetta. Aaron, explain it. I love Volkswagens. Uh, so, I had found a Volkswagen and Melinda was in need of a car. And so I was like, we should get this for Melinda. So we got her the, the Volkswagen. It was a good car, but eventually the engine did blow up on it. Stranded her in the middle of nowhere. HOV lane. HOV lane. I called dad crying, dad, my car. He's like, it's fine, hon. We're gonna take care of everything. <laughs> take care of everything. <laughs> We're on our but way. But that's sweet that your first car and the first car we bought you is literally right here. Yeah. It's right, it's like this black one right there. All right, the adoption's all done and we are all excited. We want to party, but it's St. John's. So we're gonna go to Dollar General and we're gonna buy a bunch of ice cream and take it home and have a ton of fun celebrating Melinda's And it's adoption. our last Melinda, time ever going yeah. to Dollar General. Yeah. Probably our never last be time ever. We won't be back. Maybe, so, I don't know. We don't know. Hopefully, you know. but. Melinda, yeah. what's your favorite ice cream? I like vanilla and I like chocolate. Anything with like fudge. I'm not that picky, honest. Okay. Well, what? Let's get yeah. it. No mint ice cream, actually. Oh, oh yeah, no, no I hate it. I hate mint. Alex I'm loves mint. Polo y queso. That means and cheese. Coconut's amazing. Peanut butter park it looks, looks really good. Let's go. I'm down for a re where Ariana put ice cream all over Cynthia. I know Cynthia's not here. I just because I look like Cynthia. Mm -mm, no. Nope. <laughs> look away. Ice cream. Sorry, fight. we gotta recreate just it. Just kidding, we're not doing it. Actually, yes. right here. Yeah. Yeah. I got chocolate for later. Pet it clean 2021. Woo it's growing by the minute. <laughs> I was kidding. <laughs> I still want a shirt though, so I match. I'm yes. still gonna make some more shirts so that we have them um, just in the future or. Someone had suggested that we make them into like quilts and stuff and like make I think cool, that, could be a really that would be cool so idea. cool with everyone's 100%. adoption dates and stuff. I don't know, some cool ideas, but oh, I'm so glad that this is done. How's How are you feeling? The same, honestly. Like, <laughs> it always it's just like, like official, it will be officially in paper. Like, like I said, if I do something wrong, they're gonna call you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a phone call Gladly. I'm willing to take. Yes. Aww. Aww. That feels really good. Try not to get in trouble, okay? Yeah. <laughs> good choice. We, we, the Pettit clan so. is a good clan. The real question is, how do you guys feel? I feel good. I mean, I do feel the same. I feel... Is there the a thing. different feel of how, like... 
There's really not because I've always considered you my daughter and I've always treated you like my daughter and I've always thought of you like my daughter and now it's just official, so. It does feel though like a little more just complete or like it feels like, like a breath of fresh air, you know? Like it's just, yeah. I love you, Dad. I love you, daughter. Aww.